Thomas Baldrick here at ASCO 2013. One of the great benefits about coming to this uh, conference is you get to meet some really smart people, some really dedicated people, some really inspired and passionate people. And right now I'm joined by one of those, Dr. Oyvind Bruland from Norway, the co-founder of Algeta Pharmaceuticals. Thank you, sir, for stopping by. I know you've got a lot to talk about. Thank you. You are the patent holder for a drug, Radium-223, formerly called Alpha Radin, now approved for use as Zofigo. So what's in a name, sir? You've got quite a story with this name. Yes, what's in a name? Well, by this recent FDA approval, I think a new chapter is being written in the very fascinating story of the element Radium. So it's radium for the 21st century because it's a new isotope. It's not the 226 from Madame Curie, it's 223. And we gave it, we, Roy Larsen and myself, I call back to, I come back to him, we gave it the name alpha radian, alpha particles from radium for injection. But as far as I've heard from all regulatory strategic perspectives by Bayer, they have now rebaptized it to Sofigo. And it's gone through the standard phase one, phase two, phase three clinical development. And uh, just a few days ago, mid-May, it was approved. The pivotal phase through, three was approved by FDA. So now it's on the market. What can you tell us about the results? You've got some very positive results. Yeah, and that was designed in a very challenging way because to get really clinical acceptance from the doctors, clinicians, and also from the patients. What you want to achieve is overall survival benefit, which is really challenging in breast and prostate cancer. But this study was powered and designed, and luckily ended up with a significant gain in overall survival. At this ASCO, there will be quite a number of uh, uh, secondary analysis like pain relief, improvement in quality of life, uh, more details on the toxicity, which is very low, I'll come back to that. Uh, and also another study, which is very important to me, and that is the possibility due to this low toxicity to combine it with other drugs. And this study from Sloan Kettering uh, is now later today presenting the results combining radium-223 with the standard drug chemotherapy, docetaxel. Now this drug is first in class. Can you explain to people how it works? Yes. We call it first in class because it's the first alpha particle emitter that's now approved for use in human patients. And alpha particles have a very unique radiobiological mechanism of action. It has a very strong, very toxic, very lethal effect where it hits. But the track length, the range of the ionizing radiation is very uh, short. It's less than a tenth of a millimeter. And radium uh, by itself is a calcium mimetic. Following intravenous injection, it targets bone but to a much larger extent, it targets new bone matrix. And that's what's the key feature of these men with castrate-resistant prostate cancer with spread metastasis to the bone. Their metastasis have what we call a phenotype, a stromal um, uh, component within their metastasis, which is, contains a lot of new bone matrix. And that bone matrix is more hungry to allow radium to be uh, bound to the new bone matrix. So there is a positive ratio be between <laughs> new bone matrix <coughs> and normal bone. Now you addressed uh, a little bit earlier the, um, the, the issue of very little toxicity. That's very important here. Yeah, and that's because of this short path length. Because these metastases in too many patients there are all over their axial skeleton. It's the ribs, the corpora of the spine, their pelvis, and that's where the red bone marrow, the bone marrow compartment that should renew the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the thrombocytes, um, 
uh, are and if the track length was too long we would have seen a very strong hematological toxicity which we have not seen and we think that's due to this sub millimeter short track length of the alpha particles you see tremendous promise and potential with this drug yes because if you have a drug with a completely unique mode of action this ionizing radiation and low toxicity that renders this drug a very strong candidate for combinations like I've mentioned combination with chemotherapy but also with other smart combinations that could really even make the effect of radium even stronger it could be combination with bisphosphonate it could be combination with the newer hormonal agents but because we know that they really influence the phenotype of the metastasis to a more even more favorable phenotype for radium to be targeted so i'm really looking forward to good academic but also buyer founded new clinical trials with combinations i think that we should have a fair chance to get even stronger results okay this is an exciting time for you but it's also i guess one milestone in a 10-year journey can you talk about what you've been through you and your partner and your team well 10 year we might use the metaphor odyssey it's been a challenging journey very exciting very few of course, a few, very few disappointments, mostly uh, spectacular uh, results. Because all the way from phase one through the various phase two and with this big phase three pivotal trial, uh, the results has always come out positive. And... Um, Plenty of highs and lows. Yeah, but uh, not that high, many low because uh, we saw already in phase one strong indications because you never get uh, uh, really proof of concept in phase one but already patients in phase one experience pain relief and improvement in quality of life which has now been really proven in the big phase three study so um, it's been a long long journey actually and we actually tried uh, before we wrote the patent of alpha radin we tried other bone-seeking radiopharmaceuticals with alpha particle emitters that had disadvantages, toxicities, uh, not going where we wanted it to go. So we had actually two, three PhDs completed with nice science, but not with the right format of being commercialized, going the long way from uh, concept to company, from uh, discovery to a drug. Very good, sir. Dr. Bruin, thanks for joining us, and I want to wish you a, uh, a great deal of success in, in the next 10 years of the Odyssey. Thank you so much. Very good.